Hello, welcome to part one of a discussion on unit planning using BC's new curriculum. This video will be about how to use the online BC curriculum website to piece together units for each subject. That's going to culminate with a unit draft outline that we can take forward to step two, which we'll talk about later this week. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my workflow and my process for designing units. Uh, this is just a suggestion to get you started. As you watch, if you don't like my approach or if you think of another way of doing things that suits you better, then great. Uh, do it that way. As long as you begin to feel empowered to take the first steps in any way, then it's a big win. I'm choosing to start unit planning using the fifth grade science curriculum because it's a subject that I'm familiar with and I'm interested in. I suggest that you choose your favorite subject as well uh, to ease yourself into the design process. My process for this first stage has three steps. Number one is using big ideas to create themed units. Number two, I find corresponding content to match those big ideas. Step three, I find corresponding competencies that go along with the big ideas. And I wrote down step four, but reali really uh, drafting the curriculum outline is something that occurs throughout the process. Anyways, let's start. Step one is using big ideas to determine topics for my units. Uh, all of the subjects and grade curricula have a bunch of big ideas in circles at the top of the page. Sometimes, but not always, especially with stuff like language arts, they correspond to broad topics of study. Here they are a little bit bigger. We've got some organ systems, solutions, which is like a chemistry topic, machines, which touches on physics, and some stuff about natural resources, which is kind of a geology approach. So I can see that I have a pretty balanced curriculum with biology, chemistry, physics, and geology. And what I did is I took those big ideas and I changed the words and thought a bit about how I'd like to teach them. I put them in the order that I hope to teach them. I chose to go with Earth's resources first so that I could take advantage of some nice spring weather to get outside and do some inquiries and examinations of rocks and plants. Uh, solutions and mixtures and force and machines I put in the middle because I thought I could use them as bridge units that I could apply to a final unit on body systems uh, in which I'll use concepts from the previous three units uh, as kind of a review at the end of the year. Uh, the big empty space that you see at the right here is the start of a document that I'm going to be filling in as we go. So right now, it's kind of boring. There's not a lot going on. That'll change. So next, I tried to find some content on the right-hand side that corresponds to each of the big ideas. Uh, for science, this was pretty easy. If you're not sure about what to teach, you can mouse over the blue words on the website and you can find some suggestions for different directions to take student learning. Uh, these elaborations are not mandatory, but it might help you out uh, to draw connections between the other units or just to give you a place to start. So I found four major groups that match to the big ideas. This was my body systems. There's my solutions, which looks really small, but as you could see in the previous elaboration, there's other topics. Some stuff about machines and forces. And then for the last part with natural resources, there were certain things that were kind of Canadian-centric that I crossed out, but I was able to save the main idea about sustainable practices and environmental interconnectedness for my last topic. So, as you could see, I've added them into my document, and I added some color because, well, it's pretty that way. And I also made some notes in my body system section on how I could connect that unit to the previously studied ones, just so that I don't forget. All right. Next and last, I tried to find some competencies in the leftmost column that corresponded to the big ideas. Now, in science, most of the competencies could be applied with labs and inquiry activities. Uh, since I intend to kick off and culminate each subunit, with a lab or hands-on activity, I should have no problem working these skills in throughout the year. I'll take a look at them here. So you can see most of them are just lab activities. Uh, some of these ideas struck me as being kind of specific to my unit on resources, so I highlighted those. 
Now, as you can see, I added all of the competencies that were non-specific experiment stuff in their own box at the bottom. And the resource ones I added into that unit column for Earth's resources. That's right here. Uh, I went ahead and did some brainstorming as I was looking at this just to fill in the other units with lessons that I either already have and would like to use again or others that I'd like to try. You can see I filled that in. Uh, just to make sure that in fact I will be able to tick off some of these different competencies throughout the year. This is just a draft and I'll probably do a lot more stuff when we get to the next phase. That's it for now. Uh, later this week I look forward to meeting in person to discuss this stuff and hopefully to move forward with part two where we'll use backward design principles and Wiggins and McTie's understanding by design framework to create some rich unit plans. Uh, try your best to get at least one unit like the one I showed you today complete before we meet. Uh, this whole process from beginning with nothing to getting to the point where I'm recording this super slick screencast has taken me three hours. So it's, it's a job, but it's not a super huge job. It, you can get it done. Anyways, thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed this long weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.